what we've done, why we've done it, where we're heading, and we'd love to hear your feedback, your thoughts, or any questions that you might have for us. BROE provide meditative trips to outer space. Our programs are built on psychological principles, and we propose them or offer them as part of a therapeutic package. We hope our programs will help people reach meditative states quicker. And we hope our programs will provide people shots of positive and transformative emotions. The overview effect is such a powerful experience. It can be such a therapeutic experience for the astronauts and cosmonauts who are fortunate enough to experience it. So why can't we somehow bring that experience back to Earth through adapting it, simulating it and recreating it for people back here? Back in 2016, I completed my doctorate, and as part of my doctorate, I had to complete a research piece. Um, and I decided to focus my research on the therapeutic value of the overview effect. And as part of my research, I interviewed seven NASA astronauts and asked them a bunch of questions about their experience of Earth gazing from orbit. So after spending a good few years on researching and conceptualizing and building the therapeutic model, finally we've reached the place where we have a pilot that we have designed. And we want to now uh, spend all of next year testing our virtual reality earth gazing pilot. We are collaborating with different companies, organizations and groups of people all of 2021 to help us to test the pilot. We're also inviting universities um, into this because we want and encourage independent research on our uh, virtual reality meditative programs. We believe that this research will help us uh, develop more efficacious and effective programs. We're really passionate about what we do. We have spent almost eight years working on this and it's only now in the last 18 months that we've been working on the pilot. 
So I think this goes to show you how passionate we are and how devoted we are to this and how much we believe in, in the project. So we already know that outside experiences can have an impact on our internal world. So why don't we hack into that? Why don't we tap into the power of positive experiences, the power of awe-inducing experiences, and recreate them in a virtual environment and provide them to people in order to help them induce positive and transformative emotions, to help them induce specific chemical reactions in their internal world. We're really passionate about VROE because we really want to contribute to this movement that is trying to provide alternative solutions um, to personal growth, to mental health and to well-being. We really believe that this idea of using the virtual environment to induce a change within people is powerful and we believe it can work. But we need your help and support to research the idea and to um, build on it. We hope one day our programs can be provided to prisoners and we hope one day that our program can be a part of palliative care and we hope one day our programs can be part of the education um, curriculum. But at the moment we're at the pilot phase, at the testing phase and we want to take our time and test our product um, carefully and perfect it before we provide it to vulnerable groups. Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm one of the co-founders of VROE and I'm mainly involved with helping Anahita realise her dream of bringing the overview effect down to earth. Um, what we're hoping to do is to bring the benefits that astronauts have reported after viewing Earth from space to more people on Earth so that hopefully some of the beneficial effects that astronauts are reporting can be experienced by other people on Earth. We're planning to use um, VR as a part of uh, larger workshops and also biofeedback in later versions of the VR experience so, so that users really get the most from the whole experience. We think VR is a good choice because it it's, uh, it's an immersive experience and hopefully it'll really allow the user to feel like they're actually in space. Um, and today I'd like to talk a bit about what we're doing and how we're doing it. So very early on in the process we realised that there really wasn't very much good quality 360 VR footage of Earth from space. And although NASA has some really amazing high resolution pictures, they're, they're not 360. And there's also some very good videos um, taken from satellites, which I'm sure you've seen. But this also is in 360. Um, and there are various initiatives to get 360 cameras up into space. But this is a, obviously a very expensive way of going about getting some 360 footage. And we wanted our experience to be affordable. So what we decided to do in the end was to use UE4, which is a game engine. And it's actually the same game engine that was used to develop Fortnite, which is a game that I'm sure you've heard of. Um, so we used UE4 and various models of Earth, which are based on NASA photos of Earth from space. And um, these models are very good because they're, they can simulate phenomena such as rally and me scattering, which gives a much more realistic uh, experience of Earth's atmosphere. And we also wanted our programs to be accessible in terms of price. So we're using VR headsets that are widely available on the high street. And um, we're trying to use headsets that are standalone versions of, of these um, so that you don't need to be plugged into a computer. The headset itself carries all the footage that it needs and all the pro programming that it needs on board so that the whole experience is contained within just the headset. We're currently using the Oculus Go, which has a max resolution of 5760 by 2880 and that's at 30 frames a second. And uh, to give you some perspective of how, what size that is, an HDTV is 1920 by 1080. So it's really much, much higher resolution than an HDTV. And what we do is we put the camera into the model, we animate the model, so we move the Earth very slowly, we, ro we rotate the Earth, 
um, we simulate the clouds, aurora, lightning, whatever else there is in, in the model going on at that particular time. And we take about 18 frame, 18,000 frames for every 10 minutes. And uh, we put that together to make a 360 VR video. Um, and what we've got today to show you is a 2D video made from the same models that we've used to make our 360 VR experience. And although you know, a 2D model gives you an idea of what we're trying to do, it obviously doesn't have quite the same impact that a VR experience will. Well, I mean, obviously in a VR experience, if you're looking at a part of the Earth, you can look up and see the top of the Earth, or you can look down and see the bottom. Or in some of the shots, you can look back over your shoulder and you'll see the sun off in the distance. Or during a night pass, you'll see maybe the stars around you. And uh, during a day pass, you'll see the details of the geography and of the landscape below you. So I hope you enjoy the, the very short 2D experience that we've got for you today. It'll give you a little bit of a taster. And do please watch out for our 360 VR experience, which will be out very shortly. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the meditation. Thank you for listening. I will be your guide throughout this journey where you will use your breathing to enter into a state of coherence. Allow your breath to find its own natural rhythm. With every out-breath, notice yourself releasing any unwanted tension. Everything is as it should be in this moment. If your mind wanders away, gently guide your awareness back to my voice and your breath. Your mind, body and soul are entering into a deeper state of coherence. You are connected. I will now take you on a journey around your incredible home. Bursting with life. Filled with oceans, lava, majestic crystal caves, and beautiful landscapes. the universe. 
This is the power of connection.